Hi friends, Radhika Ravikumar here. So let us continue with the uh, file related commands. So in the previous tutorial we have already seen uh, how to uh, rename a file, then copy a file or directory into another uh, path. So now let us uh, move on with a command called rm. So rm is mainly used to remove the um, file. Uh, for example, I have uh, certain files here. So let me remove the file called fn.txt. In order to remove, just say rm, then give the file name txt. Okay. So the file gets removed. In some cases, um, you won't be able to remove the file. For that, you just need to mention rm-f. F is nothing but forcibly removing the file. Okay. So there is, uh, if you want to remove the directory, just uh, say rm, then um, give the directory name I have the directory called uh, test 1 ok when you say uh, rm test 1 it won't get removed uh, because uh, it's a directory so you need to say remove directory so you can see that the directory got removed if in case uh, there is uh, for example I'll just uh, copy this uh, demo underscore txt to this test directory. Now, when I say remove directory test, you can see that it is not getting removed automatically. It's saying the directory is not empty. For that sake, you cannot, uh, uh, no, you cannot go inside the directory and remove all the files and then the directory. So, better way of doing it is just um, say rm, then uh, hyphen r. That is. Um, even though when the files are available in the directory if you want to remove the directory then you just you need to make use of this option called hyphen r then the directory name so you should remember that uh, while uh, removing a directory which is not empty you need to use rm itself and uh, when you want to remove the empty directory then you can make use of this rm directory now when i say rm hyphen r test you can see that the directory got removed so this is how you need to make use of this um, remove command then another uh, one command called cat. Cat is nothing but used to display the um, contents of the file as we know. Now when I say cat and I give uh, some file name, you can see the contents of the file is uh, displayed here. So this word about the file related commands. So there is another one command called vi. So we will see that vi command in the next tutorial. So hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and um, so if you have any queries then um, do mail me i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching